Ohayo. Ohayo. Welcome to Street Level Japanese.、Um, we are your hosts. My name is John. My name is Ryusuke. So, again, this is、um, our third Street Level Japanese long format episode.、Mm-hmm. We eventually want to make Street Level Japanese a standalone podcast.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, this is the third episode. Yeah, and I hope you guys are going to like it. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> let, let us know, please. Yeah.、Um, or if yeah, you already listened a couple episodes and you're not feeling it, or if you would、mm-hmm. rather us go back like just to the segments, yeah we can do that too. yeah But、uh, I think we're giving good information. <laughs> <Yeah> . I <laughs> hope so. yeah、um, So today's episode、mm-hmm. is going to be words and phrases about drinking. hi So within this episode,、drinking. we will have.、Um, Japanglish,、mm-hmm. we'll have pera pera, onomatope.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll talk about some drinks that are so Japanese,、mm-hmm. common drinks that are a common order in、uh, Japan,、mm-hmm. and in general,、uh, vocabulary about drinking, being drunk. Yeah, sounds good.、So、I、yeah. guess, yeah, people, some people like drinking, some people stop drinking. <laughs> Um, all right, so、yep. uh, we, I guess we should start off by if you were to go to an establishment to drink.、Mm-hmm. I'm guessing a lot of people traveling to, J- to Japan、um, want to take in the bar culture.、Mm-hmm. You know,、mm-hmm. everyone knows Japan loves drinking.、Yep. Um, everyone knows it's a common sight to find drunk business people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually, men though. I guess nowadays there's more female. It's not just a male. Sleeping on the subway? Well, that's the difference. Right? <laughs> yes. But you get that picture of a drunk salary man、mm-hmm. passed out in the subway station. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, but yeah, so you go to an establishment, and in Japan,、mm-hmm. you can drink at So many places. So many places. 7 Eleven, all convenience stores sell alcohol 24 7?、Mm-hmm. 24 7. And you can drink on the street. Yeah, if you want to. But、right. somehow Japanese people don't really do. Oh,、so、yeah? Yeah. That's true. I guess it's more of like a foreigner thing walking、yeah. around with like a can of chew high. Japanese people don't do it. That's true. No. Or it's、But、like、um, a cheaper way for.、Um, Backpackers、yeah. to drink, yeah. right? They、yeah. pre drink、yeah. outside of a 7 Eleven. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you go park and drink, but still. Yeah, is that a thing in Japan? Like、uh, pre drinking? What do you mean? So, like, it's common before go to,、uh, to a club or to a bar. You drink, you drink at home. Some, yeah, 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 yeah. Or somewhere cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's common in Japan. Yeah, yeah. So, you guys don't do it. You don't meet up. Let's meet outside the family mart first. Uh huh. Buy a couple of beers.、No. And then we'll head over to the bar. Normally we go like izakaya or go, go eat dinner. That's right. Together. Okay, so the izakaya、uh-huh. and the restaurant、uh-huh. for dinner is、uh-huh. the pre drinking routine. Kind of, yeah. And then、okay. after that, you go izakaya if some. Normally some izakaya is still open around 5 a.m.,、mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And drink. At that time, for me, it was normal, normally the 24 hour ramen spot. And ramen, yes. Or Matsuya. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> can still、Yoshinoya. drink at the Yoshinoya or、yeah. Matsuya too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So drinking is everywhere. Okay, anyway, <laughs> anyway, you go to a bar or an izakaya.、Uh-huh. What's common for a server to say? Irashimase, go to mo wa okimari desu ka? So, welcome. Welcome. What's gochumon? Gochumon,、uh, would you like to order anything? So, gochumon no, anything? is drink? No, no, sorry. Anything? Anything. Could be yeah. anything, yeah. right? When I、um, worked at the bar, I didn't know any Japanese, right? So, I would just go like, nani no mu. <laughs> <laughs> to who? To customers. Okay. <laughs> I think the owner found it was like cute. Cute. Right? Yeah. And then 
right away they like it too right away the um, customers eh, right so like i never even though i don't look like a foreigner uh-huh. from the first words i say they're like no, okay. you know me. Yeah, <laughs> and then they know but bad on me i never bothered to learn like the polite way yeah, yeah, yeah. but the owner never like required it yeah he never told me yo you, the only thing he told me that i had to like walk the customer out uh wow every customer mm, Even most, when most customers busy? just to the door yeah 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 but Some like to out open and to thank walk you. out yeah. yeah because you Whoa. have to actually like walk down the stairs uh, i guess like his friends or like at the end of the night like the last customer i'll like bye. walk him down whatever yeah arigato go because i yeah 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 and like a deeper bow yeah yeah that's wow. the only thing he he told me that i you need to do i need to do yeah yeah anyway um yeah. so how to order two beers mm-hmm. like a native japanese speaker mm-hmm. super formal uh formal informal street level um so as usual yeah the more street level the uh-huh. more informal uh-huh. more the shorter sure. it gets right? yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> so in coming up with um the content of this episode mm-hmm. i was trying to think of words that like i picked up from working at a bar mm-hmm. and maybe it's normal for like f- people foreigners that are living in japan mm-hmm. that always go to bars they would pick up this language mm-hmm. um but we figured it's good information to share yeah yeah right? definitely so for your street level order mm-hmm. you ordered nama futatsu mm-hmm. so futatsu means two yeah so nama is beer yeah so i didn't know that i thought beer was beer easy to remember mm-hmm. right but then when i started working at the bar people would order nama nama and i was like yo what's nama <laughs> see i never had i didn't, didn't have training oh, like of course, i, I would train on the job right yeah. so like oh that means beer but draft beer yeah so nama nama means like raw or fresh right? i i guess i mean i think japanese meaning is like fresh so like if it's draft, draft means it's like it's no fresh. even <laughs> in a can no yeah, yeah. even in a uh, bottle mm-hmm. it's in a keg so unless like you're drinking at a microbrewery or whatever mm-hmm. normal places just have that one beer on tap yeah. so it's just ordering whatever is on tap yeah right yeah um so we'll continue with a few common vocabulary you hear at a bar mm-hmm. so nama, nama draft beer mm-hmm. in a glass mm-hmm. beer Bean. glass be eh? the beer glass yeah uh jockey so the nama would be in a beer glass yeah juki. yeah you can also order a bottle yeah uh bin a bin mm-hmm. i heard this a lot when um customers would um order sochu or a whiskey and they wanted to mix it with a little bit of mm-hmm. water mizuwari mizuwaru mm-hmm. uh, mizuwari yeah mizu wari is water mizu wari. is water what is it's like half half okay yeah oh okay okay so half water mm-hmm. half liquor yeah i guess so uh, yeah so it could be tea mm-hmm. ochawari how about like uh coffee i guess coffee no? not so no. popular i think <laughs> i don't really i mean color like america uh, color milk. milk yeah yeah that's kind of coffee taste mm-hmm. yeah all right um extra strong uh so i want to order a drink like koime. extra strong koime de. Koime. Mm-hmm. um okawari mm-hmm. is is uh can i have another one another one yeah same one. same order yeah right um when i first heard that mm-hmm. i thought it was like the brand or the name of the shochu because we had like loads of shochus mm-hmm. and there were always like some japanese name mm-hmm. i didn't know what it is so, mm-hmm. so yo, which one is okawari <laughs> oh i see and then no that just means one more like whatever yeah. they were drinking yeah yeah 
that uh, I just thought of it actually. I remember writing the checks for the customers mm -hmm. and for drinks that they would order a lot of. So in North America, maybe, or in Western culture, we like tally. So to count to five, yeah. so you order a drink, uh -huh. and put one mark, yeah. a second one, another mark. Yeah, we and then that the too. fifth mark will be the cross. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. I had to learn like, you we what did we write number we, we five tadashi yeah, yeah right one, one two, two three four five so that's how they tally in japan yes. writing the character yeah four yeah. five yeah and then we do strokes right strokes yeah way nicer <laughs> <laughs> um uh so okawari mm -hmm. is it the same wadi as in like mizuwari ah uh, yes uh no 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 okawari so it's no ha <laughs> ha yeah. O okawari is one word. So what's the wari in okawari? What's oka? So okawari is the one word. Oh, you it's the one word. You can, okay. You oh, can okay. separate it. Yeah. See, I just thought wari is like, oh, drinking words. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Mizuwari? Yes, you can separate it. Mizu means water. Wari means half and half. Uh-huh. But yeah, okawari. And then I hear customers like when they're having a party telling each other to drink. Uh -huh. You would say, uh, motto nonde. Nonde, nonde. Uh, nonde, nonde. Another thing I noticed too in uh -huh. Japan. Um, so a lot of the time people would rent out our space for the night to mm -hmm. have, to throw their own party. Yeah, yeah. Or if, um, the owner at the end of the night had his friends mm -hmm. over at the bar and just drinking. It's very common, or I don't know if it's just our bar, but when your friends pass out drunk, it's common okay. for at people the, to draw on your face. I mean, for <laughs> for the kids, yes. Okay. When we were kids, but okay. there's some kids adult too. Yeah. So that was common at our bar then. Ooh. Like you would like wake up with like a black eye Holy or like whiskers. <laughs> yeah. Is that like easy to take it off or like I'm not other? sure. Don't fall asleep then. Well, that's <laughs> true. Don't drink too much. Yeah. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, mixing alcohols. Mm -hmm. Uh, champong. So, champong. I guess like mm -hmm. drinking beer to start yeah. the night, moving yeah. on to wine, yeah, and then and moving on to like hard sake. liquor, sake, yeah, champong, and shochu. Go back to beer, yeah, champong. That sounds like uh, a horrible night. <laughs> yeah. Um, how would you use that in a sentence? Uh. Uh, um, so means you, oh, you realize. I you could never do so that. Much. Yeah. You uh, need to stick. Yeah. With I one. feel so sick. Yeah. I feel like mixing, um, liquors is fine, mm -hmm. but adding beer to the mix. Oh, really? I don't so know. No maybe beer. it's in my head. Like it's the carbonation. It's uh, like, fuck yeah. you up. <laughs> it fucks me up. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Um, bar hopping. Uh, hashigo zake. So, is that like um, mm -hmm. you would say, oh, do you want to go hashigo zake? Uh, is it like that or? Well, you can say hashigo shio. Okay. Then you just say hashigo part. So, hashigo. Sake. Hashigo means, okay, let's go this first. Then, then let's go another one later. So, we're not going to finish here. So I know that we're going to multiple places. Exactly. Tonight. Bar okay. hop. Yeah. Bar hopping. Yeah. Um, sabisu. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it before. Yeah. Japan, Japan English, English for service. Yeah. But it means to give it on the house. So yes. That's something I also learned. Yeah. And when moving to Japan, I, mm -hmm. I guess I didn't know much Japanese, but I knew what kampai mm -hmm. means, right? Yeah. You know? But I didn't always hear it. No. In Japan. Actually, like not the so many. Well... Half and half, I would say. I feel like it's like, is it more formal? No, I think it's, it's good to say, but the other word is more like you treat yourself very well. It's like, okay. You give you yourself to like, cheer. I'm giving myself a reward yeah. for a hard day's work. Exactly. Okay. So this word we talked about, I think like one of the first few street level mm -hmm. Japanese segments mm -hmm. and um, the word is Otsukare Otsukare 
The full one, Otsukare Sama des. Otsukare Sama des. Is there a longer? Uh, like no. super formal, or is that the super formal? Otsukare Sama des. That's one of the first words I learned. Yeah. Right? It's like, work, at work, it could be hello, goodbye. Mm-hmm. It could be thank you.、Mm-hmm. It could be so many things. Yeah. But even amongst friends, it just, like, if、Let's、you,、see. after work, yeah you meet up with your friend,、mm-hmm. you don't work at the same place,、mm-hmm. you meet up at a restaurant、mm-hmm. instead of hello or.、Mm-hmm. And I say, Otsu. Right? Otsu, Otsukare. Otsukare. But only if we met up after work? Uh, no, all the time. Okay, so、uh, on a Saturday,、yeah. we meet up for brunch. Otsu. Really? Yeah. Okay, so Otsu is that prolific of a word. Yeah. <laughs> Otsukare sama desu. Otsukare sama desu.、Um, another thing that we should point out is、um, so Risuke was saying,、mm-hmm. Biru futatsu.、Mm-hmm. And In that was for formal and、yeah. informal, biru、yeah. niko. Niko, yeah. So there's also different ways of counting. Yeah.、Um, there's two different ways to count to 10.、Mm-hmm. So in Japan, you can follow、um, the Sino Japanese way,、mm-hmm. which is influenced by the Chinese characters.、Mm-hmm. Um, so you're reading it based on the, the kanji.、Mm-hmm. And then you can also. Count to 10、mm-hmm. using like the Japanese, Japanese way, way.、Yep. the hiragana way. Yeah. So futatsu means ni, two.、Mm-hmm. So it's <laughs> that's the thing, right?、Um, I don't know from watching like movies or I don't know how, but growing up,、mm-hmm. I knew generally each nisan was well, from music, I don't know, was one, two, three. Mm-hmm. In Japanese. But then I go there and I want to order two beers.、Mm-hmm. What's futatsu?、Mm-hmm. I'm like confused, right? <laughs> It、yeah. is confusing. Yeah. So、um, let's go over the, the counting,、number? the way、yeah. to count. Yeah. So, ich, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Counting、mm-hmm. from one to ten.、Mm-hmm. But for like two beers,、mm-hmm. one beer.、Mm-hmm. So, ikko,、uh, mm-hmm. one thing. Yeah. Ko, thing. Yeah. In the Japanese counting way would be hitotsu. Hitotsu.、Mm-hmm. Niko、mm-hmm. would be futatsu. Sanko? Yeah. Sanko. Mitsu. Mitsu. Yeah. Yonko? Yeah. So for four, it's either she or yong. Yeah. But she、oh. sounds like death. Yeah. So most people use yong, yong. for four. Yeah. And then yong, sometimes you don't sound the yong.、Mm. That's why、uh, yotsu. So just the yoko? Ah,、oh, no, sorry. Yonko. Yonko. Yeah, sorry. Yonko. If you go ko. Yeah. Can I ever go shiko? shiko? No. No. No one says that. <laughs> That sounds like piss, no? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why no one says. Oshiko, okay. Yeah. So, Yonko is yonko. Yotsu. Yotsu. Goko? Yeah. Five of a thing、mm-hmm. would be. Itsutsu. <laughs> itsutsu. Itsutsu. So, for Roku, it's、yeah. not Rokuko. No. It's Rokko. Rokko. These、yeah. are just things that you have to know, memorize. No. Yeah. Or be born with the language, be a native speaker, right? Yeah. So, Rokko、yeah. is. Mutsu. Mutsu. Yeah. And then for seven, I know、uh-huh. you can count Shichi or Nana. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is it Shichiko or Nanako?、Uh, you can go both. I can go both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but、Japan. Nanako is more popular, but Shichiko, yeah. You can get、Because、away with that. Yeah. Um, I guess with every language, it's difficult.、Mm-hmm. These are some of the things that I find difficult with Japanese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, nanako would be. Nanatsu. Nanatsu. Yeah. I guess the easy way to think of it, all of it is ends in tsu. Tsu. Yeah, exactly.、Um, so, eight is hachi.、Mm-hmm. Hachiko? Yeah. Or hako? Can I say hako? Yeah, you can say hako. Hachiko、yeah. is. Yatsu. Yatsu. Uh huh. 
Uh, nines would be Kyuko. Yeah. Kyuko is correct. Yeah, Kyuko. And then in Japanese, Japanese? Native Japanese? Kokonotsu. Kokonotsu. Mm-hmm. And Ju mm-hmm. would be To. To. No su. No totsu. No. To. to. So ordering 10 beers would be To. Gracias. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> when do you use to? To. You don't use to. <laughs> <laughs> like I have only only when you counting. B- bring over ten chairs. How many chairs do you want? Uh, to. <laughs> <laughs> so at what point do you stop using the su stuff? To. So I would still say kokotsu. Kokonotsu. Nine. Kokonotsu. Yeah. yeah. I would say so. Yeah, but yeah. once it's ten, it's ju. To. Okay. Yeah. So only from one to ten do you mm-hmm. count hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, yotsu. It doesn't really change. Mm-hmm. After that, mm-hmm. it goes back to the Ju ichi, eleven. Ju ni, ni ju sa, ju sa, ju sa, san ju go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, three, ten, five. Mm-hmm. The Chinese way. Mm-hmm. So unless you put, so then now you have to put counters behind mm-hmm. the object exactly. or the word, right? Exactly. So apparently in Japanese there are over five hundred counters. <laughs> so what we mean by this is, I wow. think for English we don't have that. So like. I'll just mm-hmm. say like three waters. You mm-hmm. just say the thing. Yeah. But in Japanese, um, ko means thing. I always use ko because it was easier. You don't have mm-hmm. to memorize any of these. Mm-hmm. But um, for different types of objects or mm-hmm. things, it's a, a different counter. So for mm-hmm. example, lon thin objects like pencils, chopsticks, umbrellas, mm-hmm. you would say hong, hong. or pong. So like i pong. Hippon. Ichi, wan, nihong, nihong, <laughs> ni, pon, hon, sam, bong. So one, bon. three, you <laughs> use bon. pon. Ipon, nihong, sam, bong. Pon. So, no, bong. Bong. <laughs> so, <laughs> P-O-N. So there's hon, pon, and bon. Yeah. <laughs> Ipon, nihong, sam, bong, yong, hong, go, hong, lo, pong. Nana hong, hapong, kihong, jipong. So bong, only once. But we could have a street level Japanese episode on just the counters. Counters. Yeah. Let's do that. So let's go through a couple more examples. Yeah. Um, small round objects like apples or mm-hmm. tennis balls. You mm-hmm. say. Uh, hitotsu or ikko. Ko. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, how about if it's like 70 apples? Nana jukko. Ko. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you can't count past. No, right? <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. Um, thin, flat objects like paper or plates. Uh, mai. Mai. Ichi mai. <laughs> Ni mai. Um, animals. You uh-huh. would think it's just one term, but no, it's separated from small animals uh-huh. <laughs> and yeah. large animal a- yeah. animals. So for small animals like birds or mm-hmm. hamsters, you would say. Well, birds are different. <laughs> so <laughs> birds. Okay, so yeah. first hamsters, squirrels. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ipiki. Okay. Nihiki. <laughs> Sambiki. Yonhiki. Hiki. Okay. Yeah. And then um, birds. Uh, birds. Yeah. Uh, ichiwa. Ichiwa. Niwa. Somewhere. Um, just flying birds or like chickens? Chickens to somehow only the animal, no birds, uh, rabbit. We also count in as uh, Ichiwa. Rabbits Because and all people thought it's some sort of chicken because they thought the ear was... <laughs> <laughs> no. no yes that's the that's the way only <laughs> rabbit that's kind of the the quiz like what's how you count rabbit and well, everybody like a quiz say, type question and then they say no it's ichiwa 
Oh, because yeah. it would be, be it would be hickey because it's um a small animal. Animals, but but actually the old like the back then <laughs> they some thought people the ears were wings exactly. As so it has wah. to go by a bird. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> rabbit has to be what, but it's not even bird. <laughs> <laughs> Just rabbit. Just rabbit. Okay. And birds. <laughs> um, large animals. Elephant. Uh, ito, nito, santo. Isn't to the same to from ten counting to ten in Japanese? I mean, different, different. kanji. Kanji, okay, yeah. true. Same yeah. sound. How about for like cars or appliances or like mechanical machinery type? Uh, ichi dai. Ichi dai. Ni dai. San dai. Yon dai. All dai? This is all That's dai. That's an easy one. Yeah. For computers too? Yeah. Cell phones? Yeah. Dai. Dai. All right. Let us know if you want us to do like a counters episode. Yeah, yeah. That's this is gonna be fun actually. I, I don't know. Well, we'll I see think it. it's kind of funny just because like it's so confusing. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. It would be once people remember and then this is bullshit. <laughs> or it's too confusing to listen. To. Oh, maybe. All right. Yeah, let we'll us cut know. it up now and mm -hmm. um, do a quick Japanglish. Mm -hmm. So again, from finding um, brainstorming what to talk about. Yeah. We realized we only got four. Yeah. But there's four Japanglish words. Yeah. Beer. Beer. Shot. Shotto. Um, taking your drink straight or neat. Uh, Storeto. Storeto, straight. Mm -hmm. And on ice, on the rocks. Uh, Roku. Roku. Yeah. Six. Yeah. <laughs> rocks. No, that's yeah. Roku. <laughs> Roku. <laughs> we say Roku. Roku. Oh, Roku, Roku and Roku. Roku. Like, how about Small rock music? Two. That's also rock. Raku. Yeah. I I can never Again, pick up the small, the small two and two, yo and yeah. Well you can say Ryusuke. Ryusuke. Yeah. I would but if I were to have to write your name, mm. I won't write it with the small. Uh, I don't I don't know. I'm not events, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to me it's hard to know when to use it. Use it. Uh -huh. Saying it, hearing it, maybe, but yeah, yeah. writing it, I don't know when to. Yeah, let us know if someone has like same experience. Or yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fun to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know how to say I'm yeah. drunk in Japanese. Mm -hmm. Uh, yoparai. Yeah, but let's talk about the different levels mm -hmm. of drunkenness. Sure. So, buzzed. So kai. Tipsy. Horoyoi. Drunk. Yoparai. Wasted. Desui. 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 And all these is like common to say? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Street level? So kai. So kai. Uh, everybody understand, but I don't really, like, I didn't <laughs> hear that. So what do you say? We don't say. Oh, you don't? start drinking. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. We don't say, oh, so kai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> but we say oh, you're polite. You say tipsy. How about tipsy? Uh, horoyoi. Yeah, you can you 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 telling someone mm -hmm. when people start drinking. I mean, people oh, start like I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. Oh, you. Choto. Choto horoyoi. Horoyoi. Okay. Yeah. How about like you're wasted? I'm wasted. Do you say that? Yeah. So if I'm like sleeping at Shibuya Station, wasted. Uh huh. Uh, desu. I walk by someone that's I walk by myself that's sleeping on the uh desu. Uh ano hito desu shite wa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. All right. Um hangover. Uh futsuka yawi. Wow. Futsukui no. Futsuka fut futsuka. futsuka. Two days. Futsuka. Ah, two futsuka. days. Okay. Yoi. Drunk. Drunk. Yeah. Futsuka yoi. Yeah. Ah, so hangover yeah. is two days drunk. Yeah. I like that. That's yeah. easy to remember. Futsuka okay. And we talked about it before. I think we have like a drinking episode mm -hmm. um, way back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounds way back, but it's only been a year. But yeah. Well, it's almost one of the year. earlier episodes. Yeah. Um, it's really common mm -hmm. to buy this hangover prevention drink mm -hmm. you drink mm -hmm. it before right yeah um 
this turmeric drink. Exactly. But I also remember people taking like pills and stuff. Yeah, that's too. Yeah. yeah. Like a pill version of this drink. The turmeric. And it's really common, no? It's really common. I have I have some here. <laughs> it's you need to have it. And it's called Ukon no Chikara. <laughs> Is that the commercial? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I just <laughs> You think it works? I think it works. Yeah? Yeah. For me it was. Obviously, you've like tried to drink without it. Yeah. And there's a big difference. I mean, like once I start drinking that before I drink, Mm -hmm. I can't. Like I I need, I have, I have to take that first and go. So that much, I know the difference. Okay. Like, so it doesn't work like halfway through the night? Well, it could be. I think that's still okay. Yeah. Right. Because it's mixed. It doesn't work the next day. Or does it? Well, it does it, but it th- it's going to take time. That's true. So it's better you <laughs> take before. <laughs> I mean, for me, it works. <laughs> I don't know. I never well, drink it. Never? Speak, it's not common in North America to drink this type of stuff. I know. Or to have this type of stuff, right? So I never... But I remember, like, if it's uh, getting ready for a big night out. Mm-hmm. Or, again, I worked at a darts bar. So whenever we went out for, like, a tournament... We mm-hmm. close the bar, you do a tournament like all day. Yeah. And these people, they know that I have to perform, but also I'm going to be drinking all day. I remember they would, to start the day, 7 Eleven bags full of these drinks to oh, be like, all right, go, yeah. go, go. Yeah. Before. Because right? if you make it to the finals and you've been drinking and all day, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to, you that's can't perform. But lot. everyone kind of drinks, right? So yeah, it's yeah. fair. Um, how do you say, like, Mm-hmm. Like, are you still drunk or like, oh, I'm sober now? Shirafu. Uh, uh, Shirafu. Mm-hmm. So, um, do you guys have, is it common to have like traffic stops in Japan? Yes. Yeah. 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 Like random stops from the police? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think these days, more or less, because like people really don't drink and drive. Because. One sip, you're done. Yeah, it's zero tolerance, right? Yeah. You can't have zero. Here, it's like a beer. Yeah, that's okay, right? right. Yeah. Um, okay, so how do you... So for, I guess, I don't have to explain that, but um, mm-hmm. I don't drink anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm sober now. So how do you say that? Danshu. Danshu. Yeah. Um, like, that's it. No you more stop alcohol. drinking. Is that common? Because I remember we talked I about in the drinking episode I that... I think so, yeah. for some people, yeah. Why not? How about like, um, because we talked about there isn't as, or rehab is not common Mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I I mean, I think it's, it's there, Mm -hmm. but how many people? Honestly, I, I, maybe a lot of people actually, they just don't know. So if I went back to Japan Mm -hmm. to work now Mm -hmm. and I have to drink with my coworkers. My coworkers invite me. I guess up. so. So then, do what can I say? Oh, how do I say that? Like, oh, danshu. Like, it's not. I just don't want to drink. It's like I stop drinking. Yeah, yeah. So how do I say that? Danshu. Uh, so it's like, danshu. Hey, John, drink, drink. Yeah, more danshu. And then, do you think they would understand? No, they won't. What the fuck do you mean? Drink yeah, more. Yeah, drink something like that. And then like, no, no, seriously. And then they, okay, 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 okay. So then can I explain, oh, I was an alcoholic? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So how do I say that? Uh, yeah. What does that mean? Holic. Holic. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> alcoholic. Alcoholic. Yeah. And then you can say short word. Mm-hmm. Aruchu. Aruchu. Yeah. Oh, so it's common enough to shorten it. Yeah. <laughs> so I can be like, oh, gomen aruchu. Mukashi aruchu mukashi datta kara. Mukashi aruchu, aruchu da kara. Da, mm. da kara danshu. Danshu. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared to go back to Japan and work. If <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I think so many Japanese people, they drink every day. It's so common. So like that They don't think, think it's normal. like, yeah. One beer or two beer. It would be considered alcoholic, right? Mm -hmm. But 
for them i don't even drink anymore like mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. i always take a time off if i'm home trying for sure like if you work one. in an office like i would say 80 percent of the people you work with in japan are consi- could be considered alcoholic yeah But they don't think of themselves as no 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 no. nor does society Mm -hmm. think of themselves Mm -hmm. as Mm -hmm. alcoholics Mm -hmm. um so yeah again um working at a bar yeah i noticed a lot of weird drinks Mm -hmm. that were well weird for me right that are not common in north america that i had to learn how to make and understand the order Mm -hmm. so let's uh run through drinks that are so japanese yeah so um Sake in general, the general term is mm-hmm. alcohol. Mm-hmm. Osake. But if you want to be specific, osake mm-hmm. is. Nihonshu. Nihonshu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is. Japanese alcohol. Alcohol. Sake. Yeah. Sake. So shu is alcohol. alcohol. Nihon is. Japan. J- Japan. Yeah. So if someone says, let's go drink Nihonshu, mm-hmm. that's sake. That means yes, you're drinking sake, sake, sake. sake. Yeah. But if I say, oh, let's go drink some sake, it could mean, could be alcohol. Could be alcohol. Mm. <laughs> sake no mikoze. Yeah. Um, so, Nihonshu, mm-hmm. sake. Yeah. We also have umeshu. Umeshu. That's Oishi. um, the uh-huh. wine made from plums. Yes. Umeshu I- raku. That was I love to drink that. Uh-huh. But it's so easy to drink, but you get fucked up. No? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah, so sweet. And then like alcohol could be like twenty five percent. I didn't know it was that high. I thought it was like oh, seventeen no, maybe, type thing. Maybe, maybe. maybe yeah. Could be. Anyway, could be I got. I couldn't really drink uh, when I lived in Japan. I was still quite young. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and it like good. I moved away by myself. But the flavor, you like it? Flavor is super good. I always yeah. ordered it. Yeah. Um. Roku. Raku. Yeah. Raku or, or even like um with soda, soda. you can't yeah. tell it's alcohol. It's uh-huh. dangerous. So easy. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Um before I forget, another thing mm-hmm. in Japan, no one's worried about um oh it's a girly drink. No. Right? There's no such a There's thing. There's no such thing, right? No. Like because like a lot of normal people, guys, mm-hmm. would order mm-hmm. like Cashy soda, like yeah. to me, like a weak drink. Yeah. In North America, you it could be considered girly. Mm-hmm. It's probably really like bad to say now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it back then. Like they would say these drinks are like, well, like a guy ordering a cosmopolitan. It would look weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With Japan's. our straight, yeah, archaic mindset. Yeah. Japan, that normal. You still haven't legalized gay marriage, but it's normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so umeshu, I always like because it was so sweet, it was so good. In mm-hmm. the back of my like stupid North American masculine brain, I was thinking, oh, this is a girly drink. But it's there's no such thing in Japan. No, no. I mean, they're gonna say it sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. So if I ordered like a like a cashew soda, yeah. Oh, people do say that. Yeah, uh, no biru. Oh, that's the back way to say like oh yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. Well I know not a, a nama <laughs> to start. Oh okay. But yeah. not because it's like manly to drink nama. Yeah, but uh you don't like the bitterness? You like the sweet? Okay. That type of judgment. Uh, you know? <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it. So like because I used to be. So a better way uh-huh. let's correct ourselves. Not girly like yeah. um uh amateur drinker yeah drink. type of yes <laughs> yes <laughs> or you don't drink right yeah um <laughs> i kind of want to re-record that now <laughs> anyway okay. um whiskey highball is a common drink yeah a highball is like a strong liquor mm-hmm. a liqueur 40 percent yeah with soda uh, water soda water yeah and a sweetener? Not necessarily. No, no, no. Right? no. And it's served no. in a tall glass. Yeah. <laughs> or, or the jack. If you go to the a Haibo. Nomi Hodai place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, a, that's the... Um, I think that's like the... 
pure highball drink in uh-huh. like England. If you okay. order a whiskey highball, it has uh. to be a tall glass, I think. But Japan took that drink and just ran with it. There's like everything yeah, yeah. high. Everything high is... You can have oolong high. Mm-hmm. Oh, but that's same high, like highball high? Yes. So that's oolong tea with, with alcohol. Alcohol. Any yeah. type of alcohol? No. no. Shochu. Normally shochu. Shochu. Like cheap shochu. With oolong tea. It's actually tea. soju. Shochu. <laughs> 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 okay, so that's fighting words, man. <laughs> that's fighting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> sochu is made from uh-huh. uh, wheat? Uh, I think rice. Rice as well? well I thought rice was yeah. only sake. But they can make like some sho- shochu as well. Yes, okay. rice. Yeah. So, sochu is rice as well or can be wheat? Two in like Wheat barley or other things. Uh, potato, sweet potato. potato. Yeah. Sweet potato. That's right. Sweet that's potato right. is the most common. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then low quality bad stuff is shoju. Yeah. You can also have chu high. Yeah. Is that the same high highball? Uh, yes. So shochu, but, soda water, but uh-huh. chu highs would be flavored with like fruit and stuff. Fruit. Yeah. 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 Or, or calpis. Uh huh. <laughs> So, Kalpis, how do you describe the look of Kalpis? Is like a milky, it's like Pokari. No, Pokari. No. Kalpis is like yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. Yeah, yogurt. Like that liquid yogurt. Yogurt. It's like the yogurt soju. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you can buy Kalpis just as the drink. Yeah. And it's like a yogurt, probiotic type Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. flavored drink. Yeah. Um, and that's a common mix with shochu. I found that yeah. so weird. Really? I think I never try. But I used to drink half a uh, little bit of kalpis mm-hmm. into uh, Coca-Cola. That's so weird. <laughs> but I guess it's like ice cream uh, float. Vanilla ice cream in, type of. in when I was Coca-Cola. Kid, I that like sounds it. weird too. Now it's weird. But Lemon sour. Yeah. I think the sour is like the most common drink in Japan. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything mm-hmm. sour. Yeah. Right? Um, Kalua milk. Kalua milk. Yeah. Moscow mules are really common. Yeah. yeah. Shandy gaffs. Shandy gaff. Red ah. eyes. Yeah. A lot of beer mixtures. Yeah. I think drinking in Japan is so forced on you and you got to drink for long periods of time. Mm-hmm. That's why the highball, shandy gaff, like weaker drinks that you can help you drink for mm-hmm. long periods of time are more popular. Yeah. Watered down. Yeah. Right. More yeah. sodas. And because Easy of to drink, why refreshing. sweetness, better also flavor. Sometimes yeah. some, for some people it's good because mm-hmm. like they can drink. It's like not everyone is so cool that drinks whiskey neat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Um, all right. This brings us to our last part of today's episode. Mm-hmm. Um, Pera pera onomatope. Hi. So again, we thought of a few um, pera pera onomatopes about drinking mm-hmm. in doing the research for this episode. Mm-hmm. So the first one we have is bero 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 bero. Mm-hmm. Um, really, that's like a licking sound, no? Yeah. So ice cream bero bero, pero pero pero. Yeah. <laughs> the P and B is it has kind of different. Different meaning, sound, yeah. but but meaning as well. Meaning, yeah. So lollipop, pero pero, pero. So why is yeah. it pero? So when do you use pero pero for licking? Uh, uh, licking, uh, dark, like uh, blah, 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 blah. like <laughs> okay, dirty, okay, yeah. <laughs> dirty licking. So <laughs> yeah, dirty dog licking. Yeah, it's pero pero. Oh, or that can describe um, the level of. That you're super drunk. Yeah, drunkness. Super yeah. drunk, no? Yeah. Yeah. So if super you're super drunk, drunk you are super drunk. Wasted. Yo para I bero bero. Yeah. That's how you say it? Yeah. Okay. Next one we have is uh gooey gooey. Gooey gooey. Mm-hmm. Um quickly drinking a lot of something. Yeah. Gooey gooey. Alcohol mostly? Like mostly, sake, yes. Or yeah. guzzling yeah. beer. Yeah. Alcohol. Gooey gooey nomine. <laughs> how about for like um 
I don't know why I find these onomatopoeias so funny. Kui <laughs> kui. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? I don't know. It sounds sounds <laughs> gross <laughs> to me. Okay. It's like some people find the word moist. Okay. Like gross to uh, hear. Okay. Listen to. Okay. Gui gui triggered that for me. Okay. How about if I'm drinking a lot of water? Is it gui gui mizu? Gubi gubi. Gubi gubi. It's yeah. different for different. non-alcoholic drinks. D- different. <laughs> so for alcoholic drinks, chugging alcoholic drinks is uh, gui gui. Gui gui. Um, the next one is mm-hmm. guden guden. Guden guden. Mm-hmm. Getting blackout drunk. Guden mm-hmm. <laughs> guden. Uh, uh, and then you still say yeah i can't go one more let's go one more is guden guden from like lazy so no guda 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 mm-hmm. okay next one mm-hmm. uh chibiri 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 mm-hmm. slowly sipping alcohol mm-hmm. or you can say chibi 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 just yeah. like Yep. Taking sips. Sips. Yeah. All right. Um, I hope you guys had fun listening to this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope it was helpful. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it was also clear. Yeah, yeah. We will get better at these street level Japanese episodes. Mm-hmm. I We're promise. still, you know. Yeah, figuring out figuring what you guys out, want. Yeah. But please, the more feedback, the better. Yes, um, please. We also have a So Japanese Discord channel. Mm-hmm. So the link is in our bio. Find it. Um, subscribe or follow. Um, we're not really sure how to use it yet, mm-hmm. but um, I think that's a good place to let us know how you guys feel about our episode and yeah. how we can get better. Episode suggestions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let us know. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.